Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Town Watch. My name is Josh Town. Thank you for stopping by today. In this video, we're unboxing a watch from the brand San Martin, as you can see written right here on this unique packaging. And they just recently updated their packaging, and I think it is really cool, but I'm more excited about the watch that is inside because I chose a watch that is not a homage watch it's not a replica watch it doesn't copy any watches so this is a unique design from the brand san martin and that's one of the critiques that a lot of people give to these aliexpress brands is that they never do anything original they just copy other people and when they reached out to me or someone from aliexpress reached out to me they gave me a list of watches to choose from, and I was specifically looking for one that was not a homage watch because personally I'm not a fan of homage watches. I have nothing against people who are, but I wanted to see something unique that wasn't a copy of another well-known watch, and I think I've found a really good example here from San Martin. I've already looked at it off camera and I'm excited to show it to you today. But this video uh, is a paid promotion. Technically, I was gifted this watch from AliExpress, uh, but they had no say in the video and the contents of, of this video. So everything that you hear are my own thoughts and my own opinions of this piece. Again, I do like this packaging. It's a nice hard plastic from San Martin. You can see it's it's themed af after a watch. It's it's really cool. This looks like a, a case back to like a Rolex or something like that. And then uh, on the cover, you can see there's a bezel, big San Martin logo. And this actually does twist off. So there are threads here. And just a really fun experience to unbox a watch uh, in this way. So here is the watch that I chose. Uh, I don't know what they call this watch necessarily, uh, but they do say that it is a unique design. I think it's kind of designed after some more vintage uh, style divers, uh, but here it is. And I think it's a really cool looking piece from San Martin. So let's take it out. It's displayed very nicely in the packaging and I've already taken off all the stickers and everything. And here it is very very nice there is a screw down crown so i need to unscrew that and let's wind it up and get it going i believe this is using a seiko nh35 like many watches use um, if i'm wrong on that i'll let you know but i believe that's what it is you can see there's still some of that blue sticker on uh, the crown there but look at this piece i think this is a really good looking diver it really is looks it looks good and i love this bracelet that it comes on uh, the clasp and buckle are really nice as well but we'll just do a quick peek at this watch please stay tuned for a full review we'll get some dimensions here i'll throw it on my wrist and we'll also get a loom shot but it's basically just a first impressions and a quick look uh, before I do a full review after spending some time with this watch. Finishing is pretty good. Got some polishing and some brushing. Nice polishing on the sides of this kind of cushion style case. There's no real lugs. It's kind of uh, integrated into the case. The bracelet kind of goes right up to it. And yeah, you can see that the, the brushing is actually... Uh, in a circular pattern, concentric, you might say. You can see that going there. And uh, good looking piece. What do you guys think? I believe it's a sapphire crystal, uh, but I'll test that just to make sure because I do not remember. Um, but wow, I like it. That's my first impressions. I do like this watch. Uh, let's check out the case back. You can see there's a shark logo on there san martin sub 045 200 meters sapphire stainless japan nh35 so got the seiko nh35 in there good looking watch and i also asked them to send uh rubber straps so this is a very nice looking strap as well 
that you can get the watch with. And all links will be down in the description below if you're interested in this piece. Let's check the bezel action. Very nice. No, no back play to speak of. Feels good, seems like a 120 click bezel and lines up nicely right at the top there. Very, very good. Let's uh, check the dimensions of this piece. This vintage inspired dive watch from San Martin. It's uh, looking at a little over 40 millimeters case diameter. You got a case thickness of 13.4, so it's not thin, but it's not too thick either. We got a lug to lug distance. Let's just go right in the middle here. See what we're dealing with. Very short 43 or so millimeter lug to lug. And the lug opening is going to be, it looks like 20 millimeters there. So good dimensions. Good dimensions. It kind of gives me a feel of a Seiko turtle. I know the case shape is not exactly the same, but I, I feel. It has somewhat of those vibes to it, but it, it's in no way copying that watch. And I think this is really uh, a unique design from San Martin. So I'm happy to see them try and do something uh, that's unique. And I'd like to see more of that from brands like San Martin and also other brands that sell on AliExpress. Let's set that down for a second right here, show the packaging. I did have a hard time taking this out initially. There is some information down in the bottom, and that's kind of a gripe with the packaging that this does not come out very easily at all. Uh, and I'm having a hard time right now, but let's see if I can get it out. Whew. Yeah, so that is really hard to get that insert out, at least in my experience. I hope it's not as hard for everybody else, but you get some paperwork here, some information about the watch uh, in a kind of circle shape, and you get a spring bar tool down there, and then also looks like a little screwdriver, and then they give you this cool little San Martin hang tag, and it's not a thin piece of metal. It's quite thick, so... That's kind of a unique touch, so I like that. And we'll put all that back in, and now I'm going to do a quick wrist shot. I take off my Citizen Pro Master Tough, and I'll put this on my six and a half inch wrist. All right, here it is. I did not adjust the bracelet, and there is plenty of room to take links out, as you can see, but there it is on my six and a half inch wrist. I think I'm gonna like this watch, guys. This might be something that stays in my collection, honestly. Uh, I'm liking it so far. So, All right, let me charge it up and we'll check the loom. All right, I charged it up with my UV flashlight just briefly. And it seems like there's a good, healthy application on these large square indices, rectangular indices, and the hands as well, the second hand and the pip on the bezel. So looking pretty good, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, I almost forgot to check the crystal. And let's see, we are dealing with sapphire crystal there, so that's a wonderful thing. And it looks like that the bezel is ceramic, but stay tuned for the full review, I'll double check on that. Again, this bracelet is really nice. You get screw pins for the links, a nice milled clasp, a nice signed clasp here. Uh, with their logo, and you get four micro adjusts, so uh, nothing to complain about there so far. But guys, let me know what you think about this piece, this unique design piece from San Martin. Uh, they do a lot of homages, but this is something unique, so I like it just for that fact. But I want to hear your thoughts down below. What are your first impressions of this watch? Let me know. And if you like this video today, please leave a like. That really helps out. Check the links below if you're interested in a piece like this. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you for stopping by to the Town Watch. We'll see you next time.